All right, guys, and we're back with more throne ball. Uh, I did a little bit of grinding off uh, off recordings, and I just figured I would do that because I know that there are only apparently there's only I think this is the last map, but I wanted to experience more of the game, and so I wanted to have some more perks available if I decided to use it with some mutators. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We unlocked a new weapon. We unlocked the heavy sword, and it says achieve a victory with the heavy sword. Enemies drop less gold, da 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 da. I've got a couple achievements I need to do here. Um, I really like having extra gold. My tower is doing extra damage. And if I have to pick one, I've, I've gained a couple new abilities. So like I have glass cannon, I do more damage. Uh, I have a harbor buff, a blacksmith buff. Uh, my archers do more. Uh, I think I might just make my troops stronger. Um... Honestly, I'm not really too sure on what's the best choice here. I do like the idea of fields giving more gold, but I don't like how they cost more to build. Uh, I can also make my houses that shoot arrows. That might be really good. Uh, but personally, I think I'm going to just make my troops healthier because I'm not worried about training speed. If I have to pick a mutator, I guess I'll choose the snake god one. Uh, just so I can knock it out. Achieve a victory with that and the snake. And that'll be fine. And the snake god challenge is just that uh, I get less gold from my opponents. I have no idea how this map looks like. I know I need to buy this every time. I don't know what any of this is. Building a fishing boat. Max boats five. Each boat generates one gold per day. Okay. That sounds good. Over here we have a blacksmith. I can upgrade... Upgrades apply to you, your units, and your buildings. An archery range. Choose a range unit type. Uh, okay. That's interesting. I got a tower out here. What else do I have out in this map? This looks like a really big map. I also noticed I'm very slow. I'm painfully slow. Can I walk on the uh, ice? No, I cannot. That's okay. I should probably build a boat. Okay, maybe I didn't read how that works. My mistake. And then also, I'm not going to build a blacksmith. I'm going to go for more income early on. And if I die, uh, that's okay. Because I'm just learning right now. I forgot how this melee weapon works. I think I do AoE damage. Yes, I do. Okay, so I want to keep them kind of together if I can help it. I really just want to recharge my special. Okay, that's good. I want to keep them away from my income. No, no, no. Fuck you. No, 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 no. And what I'm trying to do right now is bring them to my town center. It's working out well. Nice. Okay, let's see how the boat works. So every day, what do you make a boat? And the max is five. That's interesting. Uh, they're summoning eye drops. I don't know what that means. But I do know that I'd probably just want an archery range. I can probably survive another turn. I just need more income, right? I think I just need more income. I'm not going to uh, purchase the archers yet. Because it's still early on and if I regret it later, I can just reset. I don't know what the eye drops do, but let's see. Okay, eye drops are extremely weak. We don't respect them. I can see why it's recommended to use the melee weapon here because the melee weapon is ridiculous. We're getting a lot of good income now. They have four archer units. I might want to build a tower here or greed out and upgrade this. Oh, choose this. Because I can upgrade my houses each turn and now I can see more of the map. Okay. Now more of the map is visible. There's a mine? Mines go crazy. Okay. A harbor would be nice. A mine would be nice. I think I'm going to go mine next turn. And I might need to buy some units, but we'll see. Let's see how strong these guys are. I don't know how these fight. Okay, okay, these kick my ass. Run! I fucked up, I fucked up! Shoot him! Please! Yeah! Hey, yeah, pull him away, pull him away. 
There we go. That's who I wanted to bring him to. Run! Okay. Looks good. Looks good. They're great traits. See if I can aggro him. I can. Just pull him over toward my uh, tower. And I'll be, I'll be good here. Yeah, but if I don't start investing in some defenses now, I'm probably going to be screwed. Okay, it's 45 eye drops. I mean, I'm not scared of eye drops. Definitely going to get a mine. And I can't build any units to defend me. I think I can fight the eye drops without worrying about it, but just in case, let's just build one tower. And I'll be fine here. Let's see. Holy shit. Yeah, I just gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, yeah, get me a Good hits, good hits. They're really bad on dealing with me if I do something like this. A little hit and run. And we don't care if that tower falls. The whole reason why we built it. But we do care if that house falls. And I should get a lot of gold this turn. Okay, I can't win against that. I can. I need to build a house so I can get that perk going. I want to build a harbor, but I also don't want to die. So I'm going to do myself a favor. Let's build some crossbowmen. Crossbowmen go crazy. Let's build... We have a new house, right? We do have a new house. We have two. Let's build another melee area. <clears throat> uh, it seems good. They target siege. I kind of just like the idea of AoE. Especially with these new units. And let's build a harbor house. Whoa, I can upgrade you. That's pretty nice. Get some more income. And next turn we can double our fishing boat's income. And for these kind of situations, we want to go income early. See if we can survive it. Okay, we have a lot of AOE going on here. That's good. I need to focus on this. I really wish I had the spear right now. Okay, this is way more important than dealing with units. That's fine. And it gives me a good assessment of how strong it is. Okay. I definitely want some more melee units. I also want to upgrade my boats. Where are you coming from? I need more archers. Okay. The blacksmith is an interesting concept. But I'm not going to do it very quickly. I'd rather get some archers instead. So let's get some more archers. Uh, for this map, I probably should try the new archers. But I like crossbowmen. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take you guys with me. And let's see here. We'll build that. This will give me more melee units, right? I don't care right now. Let's go for more income. Be greedy. And the greedier we are in the early game, the better off we'll be in the late game. So I'm going to set you right... I set all of you right here. I know crossbowmen are great at dealing with ranged units, but we're going to make it work. 
I'll put you right here if I have to. And this is completely up to my crossbowmen to deal with. I cannot deal with it. Holy shit. Holy shit, they're useless. That's a disaster. I should have built longer range units. I see the air in my ways here. This is gonna hurt me later on, I'm pretty sure. Okay, do you not provide any gold? Gonna give me a red X? Yep. Oh, you don't produce another boat? Oh, that's so sad. Okay, this looks good though. The mine isn't producing as much gold, so it's not a big loss if I don't get it. Uh, I'd like to see what the blacksmith does. Maybe he can save me. Three days. Oh. Range damage. Easy. And you guys... Go ahead and be berserkers. Let's try them out. Okay, and I can't just build a defense here or something. You're not going to generate much gold. It's my fault. I greeted out with the extra crossbowmen because it's worked so well in every other map. Okay. Get the basic upgrades done. Looks good, looks good. We're going to build this tower just to slow down the siege unit. We don't really care if it gets any kills or not. And I'm going to set you guys up right over here. <coughs> I don't have a lot of faith in these units. I didn't know the map would be this big. Why is it this big? I'm more interested in protecting this up area but we'll see okay and it starts off with the melee unit that's great oh man i'm almost dead and after we take this out we need to go back up our archers back me up back me up buddy help me kill Kill, please. Nice. Really good results. And our greed has paid off handsomely. I have a good feeling about this harbor, so I'm going to upgrade it. Okay, we have a lot of units coming in, which is no good. But I'm going to upgrade you. If you lock on, no... That might be good, because I think there's a boss in this area. Mm. I'm going to go greedy. I really like the idea of a wall, but I also like the idea of just more towers. That's really interesting. Great idea. And I wonder what the upgrade on the boats are. Can I upgrade them again? Probably not. That's fair. I mean, they already are so strong. And it looks like I'm not really missing any upgrades. I'll take all of you. Can I build another house? Over here. Nice. Let's take all of you. That'd oh, be so nice if they put like a spawn all units over here kind of button. And I don't know if those are flying units. So let's put some of you right here. And we'll see. I think these are probably going to be bigger blob guys. Oh, that's not good. 
These guys might fuck up my day. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's focus on these right now. We can help them out later if we need to. We probably will. Okay, now that we help them. Good luck. Okay, so these guys are actually really strong. It's surprising. Nice. The crossbowmen might have been the worst choice. But I can live with it. Uh, these archer tower, or these guys are gonna fuck me up for sure. hope this works, but I don't really have much faith in it. And I um, just want to upgrade as many towers as I can to level 1, because the effect that I purchased makes it so that... Um, oh, I definitely want to get this up, though. Makes it so that my current towers become cheaper, but I have to purchase them first. If I don't purchase them, I don't get the benefit of getting the reduced cost, one per day. Pretty nice. I'll build a house to end it. And our defense is looking pretty solid. So really it only matters where I put these archers at. And I'll put them in areas like so. You four are in a great spot. Let's move you guys over here. And honestly, I think we're in about as good of a spot as we can be. I don't mind if they're not all the way there yet. I can't really assist. So it's not really up to me. It's going to be sad, but that fishing boat area is going to be destroyed. There's not much that can be done about it. And that was just from poor planning on my part. Looks good. Nice. I got one gold from that. No good. Okay, just looks like a lot of units from one side, which is completely manageable. <coughs> Here I should probably start upgrading my walls. And get any additional towers I can. the last bit of this income going. Okay, there's a lot. Are you upgrading or what are you doing? I don't really understand the uh, the blacksmith area. And then let's see. Uh, for this, I don't really care too much. I can upgrade this, but I don't really see a point in doing it. How much is it? Five? Sure. And in my head, all of these towers are just distractions. These walls are just distractions. But it's nice that these are becoming cheaper every turn. I do like that a lot. Okay, and I think I have every house already purchased. I'll take all of you. We're just going to send everybody down here. Oh, okay, that's not an entrance. And I'll take all of you. All of you. Everybody. And yeah, I can purchase another like upgrade for one, some of my towers that are 3 gold. But honestly, it would benefit me more if I just held off for a turn. Because they become one t cheaper, up to 1 gold, if I just wait. Like that right now is 4 gold instead of 5 gold. Next turn it'll be 3 gold and so forth. I think I'm good here. I'm not too worried.
really good. Maybe not actually. Can I help this? Not really. We might have to heavily rely on our defenses here. And if that's the case, then we want to take out the boss units at least, and the siege towers. That's not good. We just want to kill as many siege towers or siege defenses as we can. Because those are what's going to kill us. Good. I'm actually gonna pivot here and help these guys. That's okay. Then there's really realistically there's nothing to lose here. Because the most that's gonna be exposed is up to four towers. That's great. I will purchase you. I think? No. I'm not purchasing you. Uh, why hasn't this finished? It's been way more than three days. Okay. Uh, I want to upgrade my units before anything else. Perfect. Perfect. Any last minute purchases? Honestly, no. Next turn, we're going to start buying all of the towers. I think I can defend this. Why not? I don't know if that's a correct play, but maybe I can get two procs off of it, which then I'd be pretty happy about. And it seems just about every single time you play a game, or play a match of uh, this game, you always just want to go really heavy onto units. The units just seem way too overpowered. And let's see, I want to bring them over here. We're going to have a lot of those fast units, which is going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do... I'll spread some of you out and put you over here. And I'll even put two of you to protect over here. And everyone else is going to work on this. That's just in case anyone flips by. And we have towers to worry about those uh, flying units, so I'm not worried. It looks like we're probably just overstacked for what we're dealing with here. Yeah, that looks like it's the case. Is this the second to last wave or the last wave? I can't tell. Let's see if it says it. It doesn't. Does it not say the night? 12 of 13. Okay, there's one more after this. Okay, every single tower is going to get an upgrade. Maybe not. I'll take a fortress tower here. Let's see. That's worth it, that's worth it. That was one gold. For an extremely good tower upgrade. This one's probably also one gold, yeah. I could have gotten this earlier, but it's fine. And we want to get as many... I don't respect walls. We want to get as many of these upgrades as we can. Two gold is really nice. These are all probably really cheap. And this is why I always go for the uh, cheaper walls, cheaper towers uh, buff. Whenever I upgrade to my Town Hall level 2. It's just too strong. 
Besides that, I have these units upgraded, these units. I think there's one more that I can upgrade over here. Perfect. And now I have to think about how I'm going to position everybody. So I'm worried about my economy. So I want to put you guys here, probably. We'll say that this is good. Because we're not too worried about melee units. We're going to take all of you. And we'll bring you to the bottom left. Which is probably going to give us the most trouble. The thing is, is there's not much... Even though the bottom left is going to give us the most trouble, probably. There's not much that I have to worry about defending here. So if it falls, so be it. And then over here in the bottom right, I should be pretty easy to defend with this squad. I'm going to assist them, even though that leaves my top left open. And we'll see. Can I make this a little bit safer? I can upgrade these walls here. I can't. And my only concern is that these people are going to fall and then uh, they're going to have a direct breach to my base. It'll be fine. I'll have time. I need to help this squad. So let's focus here. My AOE attack should be really pivotal here. And once we clear up this side, then we can go over to the other side to help. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one here, please. Okay, that's pretty good. And the Berserkers are going straight for those siege units. They can't help it. Okay. Looks good on this side. Let's see how the top left's doing. Top left is doing amazing. Next is the bottom middle, which I think will have a lot of trouble. It is. But I have so many turrets that I think they'll be fine. Just distract them. They don't have a siege tower, so I'm not worried. Yep, yep. Keep respawning. I'm going to grab some of these guys. And this should be enough. And I, I already think it's not even necessary. Yeah. Really good. Is this a boss? Bring it on. I don't know how this boss is going to work. But I do know... That it's not getting in. Let's set you guys up over here. Let's upgrade these walls. This tower. And you will be a ballista if it's a boss. You will be a ballista if it's a boss. You're going to be a fortress. Hopefully he'll try to attack you. We're going to upgrade these walls. Play it safe. You're going to be a ballista. Do I have a tower for 9 gold? Probably not. Uh, I don't think so. I'm fine. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm not worried. Okay, my archers can't hit him. That's bad. Kill. Everyone kill, please. Does he have a, just a bunch of phases? How does this work? Okay, I already see the issue. It looks like he's going to spawn things from a different a bunch of different spots. <coughs> but the ballista is doing amazing, like I wanted it to. I just need to worry about the unit spawning. Good job, good job, man. Good job.
Okay, this is actually fairly problematic. <clears throat> uh, okay. Over here, please, over here. Okay, it's nearing its end. I probably shouldn't have moved you guys. <laughs> I'm really glad I upgraded my wall when I had the chance. I'm just going to focus on the units. My tower is going to do a lot of the work here. Let's go down, let's go down. Send some more units over here. I changed my mind. I keep changing my mind when I send my guys over there. <gasps> scum. He's scum. This is a scumbag move. If I were to have lost to this, I'd be furious. Just defend the tower, nothing else matters. Okay, that was close. The fortress tower is coming into play way more than I thought it would, which is very funny to me. It's fine. I wish I wasn't dead on the final phase. Okay, this isn't the final phase. This is the final phase. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. Pretty sure when he dies, everyone else dies? No? Okay. Easy. And I guess that's it. Nice bonuses. See here, power tower. The tower you are closest to gets a significant attack boost. Your units and all of your buildings start the game with 35% resistance against range attack. Challenge of God of Death. Allied units are no longer revived at night. And your own revive time is increased by 100%? Oh my gosh. That was really hard. And, uh, I guess that's it, guys. Um, I really enjoyed this game. It's a little bit too fast, unfortunately. Yeah, I can win with the quest and the multipliers. They don't even have a quest for the challenge of God of Death. Oh, yeah, they do. So, very fun game. The mutators make it really interesting. A little bit too fast for my liking, but it is early access. And hopefully they come up with a lot more maps, so... Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.